What comes to mind at the mention of Apple? Some of the most commonly used products, of course. The iPhone, iPad, and Mac. It's likely you're currently using an Apple device. The largest Apple manufacturing factory is the Foxconn Technology Group's Zhengzhou branch. The company's headquarters lie in Tu Chang, New Taipei City, Taiwan. Terry Gao, a Taiwanese tycoon, established Foxconn in 1974. According to Forbes, Terry is worth $6.5 billion and has been christened Taiwan's Donald Trump. While Foxconn has provided job opportunities for numerous people, it's been marred by controversy. I know you're curious to find out the details, so let's descend inside Apple's largest factory in China. Welcome back to our channel. If you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss an upload from us. Inside the production plant, the largest Foxconn factory lies in Longhua Town, Shenzhen. Many workers work at the Longhua Science and Technology Park enclosed campus, often called the Foxconn City. The mammoth production plant occupies a record 15 million square feet. You'll be surprised to learn that the production plant manufactures approximately half of all the Apple devices globally. Out of its ability to produce up to 500,000 iPhones daily, the company earned itself the name the iPhone City. The factory covers approximately 1.2 square meters, or 3 kilometers, and features swimming pools, 15 factories, a television network known as Foxconn TV, and a fire brigade. You'll also find a center with restaurants, a bank, a grocery store, a hospital, and a bookstore. Many of the staff at the factory work 12 hours daily, 6 days a week. Just so you know, some U.S. cities have fewer people than the workforce at the Foxconn factory in Zhengzhou. You're probably shocked at that statement, but it's actually true. You may be wondering where all those workers live. Dorms are available in between 10 and 20-story buildings. Suppose you've worked in a factory before. In that case, you know that a team of vendors and entrepreneurs usually establish shops nearby to make some money from selling street food, multiple products, and giving massages. Up to 1.3 million employees earn revenue from the Foxconn plant in China. So far, the company is the biggest private employer in China. In 2007, Foxconn started manufacturing Apple gadgets. Since then, the company has faced one accusation after the other. These range from staff complaining about horrible working conditions to labor abuses and severe penalties for workers when they make mistakes. Foxconn experienced different suicides among its workers between 2010 and 2011. Both Foxconn and Apple had to make some changes at the production center to control the situation. Of course, no company wants to lose its reputation and will salvage it before the condition worsens. Now, you should know that many big companies companies rely on some government support to remain afloat. In this case, the government has been instrumental in supporting the company through tax incentives, support, and subsidies to maintain Zhengzhou production. From the assistance Foxconn receives from the government, they have built power plants and new roads leading to the factory. They've also managed to pay transportation and energy costs. Foxconn also takes advantage of the assistance they receive from the provincial government to settle export target bonuses that totaled $56 million in 2016. For a company that big, they need lots of effort from the government. The province has set regulations covering the number of employees from local cities and villages working in the factory. Sometimes when work gets overwhelming, the company receives additional workers from governmental coal companies. According to the Financial Times, trade schools send students from the age of 16 to work at Foxconn to acquire work experience, which would help them graduate. Just before the iPhone 10 was released in the market, reports show that numerous students worked overtime at the company, and perhaps you know someone who works there. But did you know that this action is illegal under Chinese regulations? Speaking to the Times in 2016, Liu Mi, who heads a private recruiting company in Zhengzhou, said, Every city's Department of Labor and Ministry of Human Resources is involved. What does a typical daily schedule at Foxconn look like? Workers wake up at 6.30 a.m. and report to the factory at 7 a.m. Staff should eat breakfast and be seated at their work positions at 8 a.m. Lunch lasts an hour, with many staff preferring to eat at the available hotels inside Foxconn. However, a few teams opt for the vendors outside campus because the meals are better. The shift would end at 5 p.m., but sometimes staff receives an offer to work extra hours, often getting off the clock between 8 and 10 p.m. In the evening after work, staff is free to engage in dinner together with their friends. Interested parties can even play video games before retiring to bed at 11 p.m. This schedule remains unchanged unless staff has to work during the night shift. 
What personal experiences do employees working at Foxconn have? I know you identify better with stories from real experiences, so here it goes. One worker said she works on 1,700 iPhones daily. This roughly translates to 12 iPhone screens for hours across the day. Other workers that specialize in fastening chipboards may need a minute for each iPhone, completing around 700 pieces per day. While Foxconn workers find their work repetitive and boring, they admit that it is not overwhelming. Amid the accusations that Foxconn faces, Many people enjoy working there, especially the natives of Henan. Leo, a local vendor and previous worker at the production center, says, People like to work at this factory because you are close to your family if you are from Henan. You get Sundays off, and you can go home and visit your family. That's the perk. Leo also mentions that high pay and minimal pressure are reasons why many employees will not leave yet. With numerous repetitive factory jobs available, the workers do not have to struggle while working. Life at the Zhongzhou factory is as living in the villages. Think about everything that happens happens back in the village. Some employees waste their free time away browsing on their smartphones. Many workers at Foxconn Zhongzhou factory are in their 20s, giving the environment a scholarly feeling. Most of them have been working there for nearly a year, except for a few commemorating two years, which they say is an eternity. Many workers will leave after the first year due to boredom and lack of interest. Of course, once you're not motivated, quitting is the only option. Unlike many working stations, workers here don't apply for particular roles. Instead, you're assigned to the department where more people are needed. Some departments, like inventory control, are more relaxed than others, allowing employees to eat their bread anywhere. This is some good news for bread lovers. But, so you know, the more formal the department, the more overtime opportunities you get. You'll even stand a chance of getting a higher salary. One worker who earns $470 per month working as a clerk says, Although they can make up to about 5,000 yuan per month, which is quite high in my eyes, I feel that these workers are not in good health because of all the overtime. Repetitive tasks at the Zhengzhou factory are the order of the day and probably why many workers leave after a year. On this matter, Chen, a worker here, said, Eventually I felt annoyed to the core of my heart, like I had no purpose. But the good thing is you can always quit for a better job at will. Not everyone can leave though. Many workers at the assembly line have families to provide for, and leaving is never an option. Surprisingly, many workers don't know that a better opportunity could mean working fewer hours for a better salary salary, or doing less monotonous tasks. Working here is neither better nor worse. For some of them, all they do is make a living, and they feel like the conditions are but the same in all factories. But these views represent only a few of them. You should know that the workforce is large, and everyone's opinions and experiences vary. For example, some workers complain about not getting enough sleep due to the alternating shifts, while others are comfortable. Many workers at the Foxconn Zhengzhou factory and others in China complain about the living conditions. In 2012, some Foxconn employees protested for overcrowded dorms, sanitation conditions, and inadequate meals. Workers who can't stand the dorms or those with families have the option of renting a one-bedroom apartment, but these are slightly costly, which is why only a few do so. With all this information, perhaps you'd want to work inside the largest Apple factory if an opportunity knocked, or maybe not. Leave us a word in the comment section. We'd love to hear from you.